friends are family that you choose. Blood is family you're stuck with. Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, my name's Daniel Snow. This is my wife, Phyllis. We own snow trucking out of Harrison, Arkansas. This is the goose behind us. 1996 Freightliner Classic XL. It's powered with a Detroit engine, powered up to 700 horse, 13 speed with 373 rears. Uh, we've got a 140 inch big bunk on it that we actually took out of salvage yard. I'll take off my shoes. Uh, you don't have to. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I do. Okay. And it's lived in. It's not show ready right now. We have already showed, so we haven't set it up. I was going to show you the XK Glow in here. We started in Let's here. Get Let me back up. Let's check it out. You, get, you can pick anything, theme you want. You guys have your own party in here. Naturally. Natural. Natural. This, this real trucking right here. Yeah. Let me show you the front. Uh, how much do you guys spend time in here versus being at home? Uh, we're about home maybe 30 days out of the year. Maybe 40. So you're on the road? All the time. 90% of the time? Yeah. So you... Wait up. So you guys work and live trucking for how many years have you been doing that schedule? I've been doing it about 17 years. Just like this? Uh-huh. So, well, with a little bump too. We started, I started out with that little bitty bump. Right. So, you guys have really been trucking for the last 17 years. Yeah. And not home. Just right. trucking. But this is our home. I love I mean, it. I love, we love this place. But that's, that's such, uh, that's so amazing because people say they're trucking, but they're not trucking. No. You guys they, are trucking. They're steering wheel holders. We right. love our job. We love what we do. Uh oh. You got the cockpit right there. What our preacher says, he says that looks like a an airplane pit. You trying to? How do you know what all those gauges are for? So about a month later, I was I was hauling cattle, went through town during business hours, and stopped. Got her a little bitty ring. I mean that thing, that thing had one of them little stones in it, just about the size of what they uh, sweep up, little diamond. So I called her and I said, Hey, will you meet me at the truck stop? So she said, okay. At the truck stop? Yeah, truck stop, yeah. I yeah. love it. This yeah. ain't no better trucking hey, store than this. You buddy. can't make this up, okay? You can't, at the, well, okay, what truck stop was it? It was called the 4D in, in, in Belfont, uh, just south of Harrison, Arkansas. It was in Belfont, Arkansas, called the 4D. Okay, so she comes over there, and she gets out of the car, and she's uh, she starts crying. And I said, because I'd ask her, I said, leave the kids home. Just run over, because you only lived about three miles from that truck stop. I said, leave the kids home, run over, because I'm just going through. I was loaded, and I'm just going through. So she come over there, and when she got out of her car, she's she's crying, you know, and I said, well, what in the world's wrong? She said, well, I know my kids are brats, but don't break up with me. And I said, well, I wasn't going to break up with you. I got one song to play for you, and then we'll talk. So I played her a song by Charlie Pride that says, all I have to offer you is me. And it's it's a beautiful song. You ought to Google it and check it out. But anyway, so Look I played her. Eyes. I played her that song, and she's standing there like, "Well, what does that mean?" So I said, "You know, I came here to ask you to marry me." Right so there. He the, so he didn't want to break up with you. No. And then she goes to crying the other way, like, "Oh no, that's great," you know. <laughs> so anyway, so then we get married, and we we started our venture of life together, and uh, it has been a venture. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Uh, I don't get a chance to say this much, but uh, when I first started uh, this uh, YouTube social media journey of uh, wanting to share light of truck drivers and just how us truck drivers move America, you know, uh, I had a couple of subscribers, my mama, and maybe a couple more people, <laughs> and, and y'all were like, you know what? If you want to interview, that's no problem with us. And at that time, something happened, and we that just didn't work out, and Years later, I get a chance to see you guys again, and you guys are still the same humble and sweet people. Thank you very Thank you. much. And I mean that, you know? Thank you. And so, the legend of the goose, right? Okay. The legend <laughs> of the goose. Exclusive, let's, let's really hear about 
you know, what's going on here. First off, introduce yourself. All right, my name's Daniel Snow. This is my wife, Phyllis. We own Snow Trucking out of Harrison, Arkansas. This is the Goose behind us, 1996 Freightliner Classic XL. It's powered with a Detroit engine, powered up to 700 horse, 13 speed with 373 rears. Uh, we've got a 140 inch big bunk on it that we actually took out of salvage yard. And we gutted it out, been remodeling it. It's slow when you do it the poor man's way. You know, we, <laughs> we, we started, we bought the truck in 2005. And where, where did you buy it, what location? In Kansas City, Missouri. But it had been licensed, it was a one owner, it had been bought and licensed in uh, Virginia. How it got to Kansas City, I'm not sure. But that's where we found it. We bought it, it was plain, plain as it could be, but it was good mechanical. And that's what I would highly recommend to people looking for a truck. Don't really go by, okay, does it have a lot of lights, does it have a lot of stainless? That's not what you're buying. Buy a good engine, transmission, rear ends, and then you add the accessories as you can. And, you know, we've been 16 years now uh, working on the Goose, and we do a little bit as we can. We work some outside, we work some inside, and, uh, you know, we just try to keep, it actually, keep, it's our attitude adjusters. Instead of getting mad at a shipper or receiver, we find something we can work on. So, uh, now some of them won't let you out of the truck, I get that, but we'll work inside if that's the case. Or we'll take rope and make lights and we'll do anything we can just to, uh, uh, you know, keep our blood pressure down and our quality up. <laughs> I love it. I this is a, a sign a little bit about the goose. Uh, it gives you a little bit of description. It's 96 Freightliner Classic XL, Detroit engine, 13 speed, 373 gears with a 140 inch custom sleeper. Now we may have to change the name here because the truck is the goose and now it has a family. Uh -oh, uh -oh. So now it's the goose and family, maybe. Not really. It's That's still just mind. the goose. Tinkerbell wanted these. We call her Tinkerbell. Is that? Tink <laughs> Tinkerbell wanted some some decorations. Yeah, we thought about pond and that, but then we thought, well, the grass would be really cool. I love so. it. I love so, it. It gives a very home feel. I like thank that. You. Thank you. I like that. And yesterday, for the judging, she we moved the geese out, and she put it, set a little picnic basket back there now you guys are giving up the secret sauce and uh, now you guys are getting your trophies it was hey we'll see tomorrow yeah. but you know uh, and you know like she said earlier it's not all about winning but we'd like to <laughs> <laughs> it's fun it's, it's fun. fun so we have a first colored bumper we've ever went with it is made by talladega fiberglass in uh, lincoln alabama uh, actually they're right near the talladega speedway so uh, then we have roadworks grill and we have XK Glow headlights. Uh, they Those are, are really cool. Look they are so on. awesome. Let's check uh, it out. Tinkerbell's gonna turn them on. These, Tinkerbell, you are so sweet. The, I heard. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. The uh, these headlights will do any color you can imagine. So she's turning them on right now. Maybe. There you go. So they come on this color, and they're Bluetooth controlled. So as she. Step up here, we're gonna see oh, you. we got the app out. We got the yeah, app out. Got the app out, and uh, you can do you can do colors. There you go. See them turn green. Green it is. Okay, just say we want blue now. Blue now. Okay, go blue. Give me blue. Well, that center one's turned blue. There, see the center ones around the grill. Yep. You got different. You have all these dots, and you have to move them. Up. Are they? There, they're blue. And so uh, you can do any color you want. XK Glow is out of Springfield, Illinois, and uh, they they sell these lights. Uh, Iowa 80 here sells these lights. So what we do, we do a little bit of advertising for them, but Iowa 80 sells them. So check out Iowa80.com or uh, check out XKGlow.com, and, and they can refer you uh, to what product you want. So, I like them. I like them. So as we go around, sorry. Hey, you gotta get used to that. I mean, you know, that's a that's a part of the show. Right, and we love we love seeing people like this fella, you know, take a picture of that close. Yeah. Thank <laughs> Real you. Real nice. Thank you. Uh, so as we go on around, uh, eight inch Dynaflex stacks, 140 gallon tanks on each side. All the graphics, uh, Phyllis and I have done ourselves. We've done everything to this truck practically everything 
except paint the tractor and stretch the frame. All the lights, stainless, you know, mounting the stacks, everything we've done, that we've done with these hands, these four hands, her and mine. Well, we used to have stacks about like this. I remember that. Liner, I remember that. And we got to a truck stop in Illinois. Yeah, at Effing, Effingham, Effingham, Illinois. And he says, I do not like the steps. We're going to redo some. So he got his chop saw out and he cut them cut off. Cut the steps into in a parking lot. So and we didn't have nothing to replace them with, but he was going to replace them, but he took them off. So he gets, we, we go to the shipper the next day he, he, to unload well, the receiver. He jumps out of the truck, forgot. There forgot was no there was steps. no steps. Boom. She <laughs> leans over the seat and says, Dummy, don't you remember you just cut them in two? <laughs> and that's why she's your right hand. And about two hours later, she done the same thing. That's why it's good that you didn't say the whole I told you so. I did not say dummy. I jumped out and ran around there and I said, Are you She said, What'd you cut that step in two for? So anyway. But now it's, but, it's so we took these stainless ones and built a new stainless ones and uh, everything's cool now. Uh, we these grand general train horns are so loud. All of these lights here are grand general. All of the trailer lights on the, the running lights are all grand general. We use grand general for a specific reason because they're the best. They are very good seal beam, <laughs> very very good seal beam light. And we have some fans here of our interviewer too, so he's a great guy. Generator, quietest on the market. It's a Cummins Onan. Uh, very tickled with it. It's uh, it's very quiet. That's the other one you hear running. But uh, the we, we mounted the God we truck on both sides of the cab. And uh, these we. We're so proud of these. These are Talladega fiberglass as well. Uh, they're single hump fenders, three on each side. They also make, I'll show you the back ones when we get to it, but they also, we use the same fenders there. But if you want a quality fender, if you want anything fiberglass, if you can get a shot of that T-bumper. That really shines at night. I'm gonna catch you. So this is our best friend, Michael Wallace. We're, we're, we're brothers. We're just brothers from different mothers, okay? So, hey, that kind of goes, he's mother trucker, so we're, we're brothers from different mothers. Say hi, Mike. Hello, truck driver world. <laughs> Met him and his wife at a truck show 13, 14 years ago, I don't know. We're like family. We, uh, you know, here's the deal, friends, our family that you choose. Blood is family you're stuck with. Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> I like that. So Talladega fiberglass uh, fenders, roads works, uh, uh, axle covers, and then we done all the Grand detail work. General. And the Grand General lug nut covers. Grand General is so uh, they're, they're kind of a unique company because they cover so many different items. And so if you're looking for something, go Google uh, Grand General Accessories and take a look at it, see what you come up with. Same situation here. We're really proud of the back of the trailer uh, because on the back we get to display what we want to. So we we, we, had, we put Talladega because they're such a good product, but I want you to get a good shot of this. This is one of our sayings. If you miss heaven, you've missed it all. And I'm Native American, so we like to, you know, fly an Indian flag. Cherokee, uh, no proof of it, but I know what my family was, so. Did you do that? What's that? Oh, I almost forgot this. This is this is Tinkerbell's item here. She wanted a back plate for the trailer, so we we got in God we truck uh, there. These lights across here, I was actually giving Michael a hard time one day. And I told him, I said, man, you got more lights than I do. I got to get with it. He went into the truck stop and bought those lights and come out there and said, here's just some more lights. That's what kind of guy he is. Ain't that cool? That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So, uh, same, same setup over here, same type of fenders. I don't know if you can get this shot or not, but if you can see, if you can see that, 
It says this world is not our home. We are just passing through. And that's so true. That goes back to our mission work and uh, trying to put God first. Uh, I'd like you to see a little bit of the inside yeah. of the sleeper because uh, t almost 10 years ago, this sleeper was in a salvage yard and they were using it for part storage. So being just working class people, we really could not afford to, to uh, you know, buy a new one. So this is our project. If you'll step right up there, Phyllis will give you a tour of it. I'll take off my shoes. Uh, you don't have to. You okay. sure? Yeah, I just oh, Okay. And it's lived in. It's not show ready right now. We've already showed, so we haven't set it up. I was going to show you the X cake low in here. We started in Looks here. Good. Let me back up. Check it out. You get you can pick anything steam you want. You guys have your own party in here. Yes. What a beautiful truck. This is what the truck looked like when we first got it. With that little bitty sleeper and the ain't, cow trailer. Ain't that something? Yeah. Look at what ain't it is now. Yeah. And then, wow, look at the change. That's Dallas, yes. Let's turn the lights where you can see now the inside. Let me turn okay. that one on. something that's saying it's a cookie cutter we want something that say hey we did this it might not be straight it might not be that perfect but we did it and we like it I love it this is our bed I didn't like the mattress showing all the time so he come up with this mantle for me look at that homie looks great and our restroom got a full shower and bathroom look at that and it's used, so overlook it. <laughs> no, of course, of course. No, thank you so much. Got raw footage of everything. Normal, no. natural. Natural. This, natural. this real trucking right here. Yep. Let me show you the front. Uh, how much do you guys spend time in here versus being at home? Uh, we're about home maybe 30 days out of a year. Maybe 40. So you're on the road? All the time. 90% of the time? Yeah. So you went up. So you guys work and live trucking. For how many years have you been doing that schedule? I've been doing it about 17 years. Just like this? Uh-huh. Well, so, with a little bump, too. We started, I started out with that little bitty bump. Right. So, you guys have really been trucking for the last 17 years. Yeah. And not home. Just right. trucking. But this is our home. I love I mean, it. I love, we love this place. But that's, that's such, uh, that's so amazing because people say they're trucking, but they're not trucking. No. You guys they, are They're trucking. steering wheel holders. We right. love our job. We love what we do. And we put our heart, heart and soul in it. This is what the sleeper looked like when we first bought it. That's what that picture frame thing is, to show you different things when we were on truck shows to the sh truck and different. Like that's here one year, in Walcott, Iowa. They uh, was taking a picture of our truck, and I took a picture of them. Ain't that something? That's our granddaughters. I love it. So, and then you got the uh -oh. you got the cockpit right there. That's what our preacher says. He says that looks like a an airplane pit. You trying to how do you know what all those gauges are for? It really is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. We appreciate you guys. Yep. That way you can give us everybody out there what trucker means. I mean, that's what's about. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's really what it's about. It is. So I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. I, I mean, I probably would name this the longest running show truck <laughs> in America. It really is. Well, thank you. I, I haven't seen another truck that has 
how many years has this truck been coming to truck shows? We, when we first brought it to a truck show, was probably in about 2008, and it was three different colors. And uh, Brian Martin at Four States uh, mentioned to me he would like us to bring some trucks. He's going to have his first show. And uh, he said, well, I don't know how many we're going to have turn out, so could you go ahead and bring it? I said, well, I don't want to bring the goose because it's, it's nowhere near ready. And he made this statement, I still don't know if it was good or bad. He said, bring it, it looks good in the dark. There it so, is. So, you know. <laughs> better with the lights off sometimes. I, I guess so, and it really didn't have very many lights on. But anyway, so that was our first show with it. And uh, then we done a Shell Super Rigs, Rotella Super Rigs, uh, right after that. And it just kind of got in our blood. But the number one reason we do shows is for our missionary work. We do uh, a missionary work called In God We Truck. And uh, we don't shove it down anybody's throat, but anybody that comes along that wants somebody to talk to, has something wrong with their truck, we've got tools, we try to help them uh, in any way we can. We don't give out money, but we, we'll give them a ham sandwich if you know if that's what we're eating, we'll give them whatever we have. And, uh, but, the, but the God we truck is what drives us the most at this time, because that's God. Then the truck drives us uh, because we love be, make building the truck the two of us. Uh, I don't do anything alone. She hardly ever does anything alone. We, I mean, she has nice nails and stuff. She'll Let me put, back up to show that. You know, you know. Well, Look at and that. the toenails. Uh -oh. toenails. Uh -oh. It matches the truck. Uh -oh. <laughs> but when she gets ready to mechanic, she's got her gloves she puts on. She she may look like a, what's that, a hazmat team person. Hey. But, but we're like, you know, we changed the air compressor a couple of weeks ago in the truck stop parking lot. Her hands were on just about everything mine was, and she was oily and dirty. When we, of course, she could take her gloves off, and her hands were clean. My point is, we work together. I love it. We, we do it together, and if we succeed, we will succeed together, and if we fail, we will fail together. So when we never, if one of us makes a boo-boo, we don't say, I told you not to do that. I told you, you know, we don't do that. We say, hey, it's okay. So uh, it may not be okay, really. <laughs> But we, that's how we get through it. Then we fix it, you know, so. Yeah, I think uh, you just gave us the equation to a happy uh, relationship and marriage. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, we always put each other first. We, I think about what he wants and he thinks about what I want. We very seldom ask each other to do something because I'm trying to think, you know, we've got five children. She had three, I had two. We've been, December will be 30 years we've been married. 30 years? And we raised them all together. And we raised all five of them together in one house. We, all, we had custody of all of them. Believe me, it was hell. <laughs> Look at that. For a lot. Uh, you know, I, and you know, I appreciate that, you know. I, I feel like we're getting uh, a little bit of an exclusive. People don't get that out of y'all sometimes, no. you know. No, because everybody, you know, they just want to... Uh, show up uh, something real shiny. They don't really want to know how it got shiny. Well, that's why we're here today. And for the people that don't know, you know, people have uh, expectations of who people are that come to truck shows, and they, they believe that these people are here because uh, they have so much money and so much time. And no, this couple right here, they're out here doing God's work. And, and they're building out what they can and they're helping people Thank where you. they can. So Thank you. that's amazing. Thank you. And we might should point out, we're at the world's largest truck stop. There it is. <laughs> we're at uh, the Iowa 80 at Walcott, uh, Iowa. Uh, great show. If you if you can only pick one show to do, go to the to the uh, Iowa 80 Jamboree. It's uh, it's amazing. Family the amount of people, uh, the family that owns and runs this, and their personnel. The, their personnel is all like family. I don't know if they're related or not, but they're all like family. Mm -hmm. And they are all out here busting their tail to put on a good show. And now it's going to be a better show if we win something tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> you can't always win something. Uh, yeah, no, I hear but, that. But you yeah. can always have that goal. So, you know, uh, uh, but win or lose, there's so much nice iron here. We acknowledge people not because they have a certain kind of truck, certain brand. We we feel closer to people that is just working at what they do. Love that. Yeah, you know? that's that's beautiful. You so, know, 
I appreciate y'all for that. And you know, we, I'm not trying to change the subject no. about us. We we got together. I was fed up with me and dating them. Not that I was. This no. is more the beginning of yeah. our relationship. So he come up and asked me out, and uh, I she was, how did that go? She was mean to me. I'll tell <laughs> you how that right? went. Yeah. yeah. I, I was, well, I was, when she's pretty like this, it makes sense. Hey. She, she she told me, I said, you know, would you like to go and get something to eat uh, tonight? And she said, I'm not cooking for you. I'm not buying, I'm not buying anything for you. And I said, well, I, it don't matter if we go out or not. She said, hey, I sure ain't cooking nothing for you. I'm like, okay. You're like, I like this one. Well, I said, that's two strikes. Do I go for three? So I told her, I said, you know what? I thought I might pick you up and I would buy. She's like, I might just go there. There it is. So that was our first date. After it, we shook hands. She went, she went in her house. I went home and I went to hauling cattle. Second about, date. Well, about a week later, she come to where I was loading cattle because I was hauling uh, local cattle at that time. And because I got into this business, uh, I actually started in a semi. But then when I had two children of my own to raise, I started running hot shot and local. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so, because I raised two boys by myself for almost four years. Wow. Two years old to five years old. So you had to do what you had to do? Yeah, I had to be mom, dad, everything. And, and, and you they know, never stayed with the babysitter. They I stayed mean, with unless me. They were, unless, he, unless you were at work. If I was, and I did work a job in town, that's the only time I had to leave them at the babysitter. And as soon as I picked them up, I'd usually have a stock trader already hooked up, and we would be hauling cattle. So anyway... About a week later, she comes where I'm loading cattle, and uh, she says, I, I thought you liked me. How come you didn't ever call me? And I said, I just had that time. You know, I'm busy. Oh, that's when they want you more. Yeah. Look at that look. Look at that look. Yeah, yeah. All these years, 30 <laughs> years, look at that look. So I told her, I said, well, there's a rodeo in the next county over this weekend. Play the rodeo game. I said, look, yeah, bet. You play whatever card. Or, when she looks like this, you play whatever card you have to, you know. So anyway, I told her, I said, there's a rodeo. And she said, well, okay, what, what about your kids? I said, well, they're going too. And you so, don't usually get that. You usually want to leave the kids home. You know, right. Not me, but, you know, most men. Most people. So, that was, so you like that. You're yeah. like, wait a minute, this is a real man right here. Yeah. So I, we took all five kids. We go to a funny thing. We get to the rodeo. There's a deputy sheriff from that county walking up to us. And she said, oh, hey, hi, whatever your name is. I mean, she knew his name. I can't remember and uh, she said, I want you to meet, uh, 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 and I said, my name's Daniel. <laughs> she couldn't remember my name. Oh, man. So, so I have ribbed her for 30 years now about that. That's you know his name? Well, you, what's, well, what do you call him? You don't, you don't call him that. I call him Mr. Snow. No, she don't. She calls him <laughs> Daniel. You, you're going to think uh, people I'm, I'm mean to you. Oh. But I put my name, that's when I started putting my name on my shirt. This particular shirt don't have it on there. But it's got snow trucking on it. But, and it's got the goose on the back. Look at that. Hey. Oh, God, I so, love it. Big Rig Tees makes these t-shirts. You can order them online. You can buy them at Iowa 80. Yeah. But anyway. Jay's so, a good friend of mine. Really? He's, he's a, a great, man. he's a great guy. And uh, so anyway, we went out. Three months later, we got married. And uh, December 22nd, that'll be 30 years ago. And I can remember those dates, see? And it's a great man that takes you and your kids out and everything that we did we always included the kids we never yeah. even the wedding the five-year-old was his but he's mine uh went to school and said we're getting married they were so <laughs> tickled they just it was all of us getting married he he asked me to marry him he says why isn't your name snow and i said because we're not married yet and he says well let's get married and there we're is. out feeding cows when he's out telling this so i go by over there uh by where her and him was over by sitting by the barn and she said you know he just asked me to marry him and i said well we'll have to see about that and i didn't say no more so about a month later i was i was hauling cattle went through town during business hours and stopped got her a little bitty ring i mean that thing that thing had one of them little stones and it's about the size of what they uh sweep up little diamond so i called her and i said hey will you meet me at the truck stop so she said, okay. At the truck stop? Yeah, at the truck stop, yeah. I yeah. love it. This yeah. ain't no better trucking hey, store than this. You buddy. can't make this up, okay? You can't, at the, well, okay, what truck stop was it? It was called the 4D in, in, in Belfont, uh, just south of Harrison, Arkansas. It was, it was in Belfont, Arkansas, called the 4D. Okay, so she comes over there, 
And she gets out of the car and she's uh, she starts crying. And I said, because I'd ask her, I said, leave the kids home. Just run over, because she only lived about three miles from that truck stop. I said, leave the kids home, run over, because I'm just going through. I was loaded and I'm just going through. So she come over there and when she got out of her car, she's she's crying, you know, and I said, well, what in the world's wrong? She said, well, I know my kids are brats, but don't break up with me. And I said, well, I wasn't gonna break up with you. I got one song to play for you and then we'll talk. So I played her a song by Charlie Pride that says, all I have to offer you is me. And it's, it's a beautiful song. You ought to Google it and check it out. But anyway, so Look I played her. Eyes. I played her that song and she's standing there like, well, what does that mean? So I said, you know, I came here to ask you to marry me. Right so there. He the, so he didn't want to break up with you? No. And then she goes to crying the other way, like, oh, no, that's great, you know. <laughs> so anyway, so then we get married and we, we started our venture of life together. And uh, it has been a venture. She was a manager with Walmart. And when our youngest boy turned 18, which was about 17 years ago, they were going to transfer her and do some different things, and she didn't like it. And when I come home, she said, uh, I don't know what to do. I said, what do you want to do? And she said, I'd like to just go trucking. And I'm like, well, okay. And I thought for a vacation, this is 17 years later, okay? It's a heck of a vacation, right? So I said, well, I'm ready to go. I mean, I got my clothes back. She's rolling. I got shit out Well, about two weeks later, we're cruising across Oklahoma with a load of cattle. And uh, she said, you know, if I'm going to be out here, i got to learn to drive. And uh, I said, drive? drive? Wait a minute. Drive? I don't want to talk about uh, uh, how tall you are because he's like seven feet tall. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, I'm not right? quite that, no. But much taller than her. So I said, are you serious? You want to? And I want you to know... This has never been told in an interview before. We have never told this in, a, in an interview to this day. Right. So anyway, I said, drive? I thought she was on vacation. She said, no, I quit Walmart. I'm going to be a trucker. I'm like, oh, Lord. I was like, Jesus, I got to have some help here. Because, <laughs> I mean, she could drive a standard car, but I thought I didn't know if we could get that accomplished or not. Well, she done her, her test and got her permit, and we started working with her. Me and uh, your youngest son, Jamie, he drives a truck also. With cattle. And when I would get wore plumb out training her, well, I'd let him train her for a little while. <laughs> and it took about a year, but yeah, hey, she, she cut her teeth with a load of bulls on, okay? If you can do that, you can pretty much do anything in this industry. That is a tough job. Love it. So, and he lets her just drive, and I help load. Oh, she she had her own hot shot. She had her own boots, coveralls. coveralls. When I jumped out to put my boots and coveralls on, she did too. How attractive is that? Oh, oh, just send you through the roof. You know, <laughs> you, know you you just you just ready to go. You know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> so you know, she does a great job, and as we age, we take care of each other a little more each day and uh, she had a massive heart attack last year in, in February uh, probably the most scary time in my entire life because I thought I was gonna lose her and uh, it was serious and you know she we done whatever we had to to get through it uh, she's back to uh, pretty good health she's cleared to drive so now she's back to driving, cooking, feeding, bathing, doing everything to me, and I eat and lay in the bed. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, it's hard to say that's possible to love someone even more, but uh, now uh, that uh, you guys have gone through something big like that, I mean... We cling to each other a little more because, and I say this a little bit boastfully, she's my world, and I'm her world, and... That's the way it should be in marriages, but you just don't see it, especially after 30 years. I mean, hey, we're 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 we on a 17-year honeymoon. We couldn't take a honeymoon when we got married. We're making up for it now. <laughs> <laughs> what a story! From her thinking that you're going to break up with her to 
to you. You get on your knee, put yeah. it on a song, Mary and a, a truck stop. Truck stop, <laughs> yeah. There yeah. ain't no more trucking than that. With yeah. a diesel engine idling behind you and a cow mooing in it, you know, so. I tell you, that's beautiful. Thank that's you. Beautiful. No, thank uh, you. And uh, you can't make this up. I mean, hey, it's, it's, it's just the way it is. I don't even know what the title of this video is. I married her at a truck stop and. <laughs> a truck stop queen. There you go. Truck stop queen, you know. Well, you know, all you mother truckers out there, I'm telling you, I don't care what you believe, but uh, positive vibes, good health. Uh, I wish you guys everything. Uh, and I, the community I know that backs me uh, wishes you guys the same because you guys are out here doing great Thank things. You. And since you are doing great things, uh, I think that's why you have been blessed with good health. And Thank you very much. And I, I, I truly believe that. And if people don't get anything else from us, get the fact that all the answers are in the scriptures. Turn your faith to God, and He will lead you. And when you're fortunate enough to have a woman like this behind you, or a man like this, you can you can go and go and go, and you have the freedom of knowing that even death can't conquer you because you're one of God's children. So you know, uh, because uh, your guys have such a height difference, they can only see you guys. You know, like this, but look how they've been holding their hands so tight this whole time. And it's I'll it's tell you, squished. Yeah. You know, I tell you that. No, uh, no. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for what you do because you take these comments and words out to people to relate, where they can relate to truck drivers. We're human beings. We make mistakes, uh, but we need to work every day harder on being a good uh, driver. A safe driver and watching out for people so it's a motivation to us too to, to, to do more to, of our for our part of being safe yeah, I wish you guys the best uh, on everything in health and uh, definitely on your mission to help others thank you very much we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams mm -hmm.